This is past and present, the ultimate challenge to see how fashion has helped sport move forward to this day. We travel all around the globe to challenge six athletes and six designers to make an old garment and test it under today's conditions. Let's see what happens when past and present collide. This is Rasha. Born in Djibouti and raised in Japan, traveled to Canada to study and finally moved to Paris. Rasha is a fashion designer who graduated from Esmod, the first and oldest fashion design school in the world. In this place, the centimeter and the mannequin were invented. Rasha also has an entire collection based on the 1920s. That's why we chose her to recreate an iconic garment of the golden age of tennis. There was a time when women practiced their backhand not in neon spandex, but wearing lace-up corsets, court-length skirts, ladylike slippers, and even, on occasion, a well-placed fur. The Roaring Twenties said goodbye to the clothing restrictions of the previous decades to give place to whole new loose, cocktail party-inspired attire. For over a hundred years, social changes have shaped the trends in tennis clothes. But now we have a great opportunity to go back in time to see what it was all about. The first step of this challenge is to understand who is the main character. There was one woman who challenged all the rules at once. Her name, Suzanne Langlin. But wait, why such a fuss about Suzanne? She was our first superstar in, in tennis. Suzanne Langlin, elle représente la femme française, la parisienne, par son élégance, par la qualité de son jeu, et puis c'est une championne incontournable. Now meet John Pateau. Bonjour. Fashion designer, entrepreneur, and free spirit. Oh, Jean Pateau, évidemment, c'est un incontournable des couturiers euh, français. Yeah, they rocked the world of tennis in the 20s with some of the most shocking and unforgettable outfits of their time. This is Tessa Andrienne Jaffa Trima. She is a French tennis player with only 18 years of age, and she's already a big promise for the sport. I have met uh, Tessa uh, today at Roland Garros. We are going to the court, Suzanne Langlen. Ça c'est Suzanne. She take me to a tour at uh, Roland Garros. I'm going to have the outfit of uh, Suzanne Langlen and trying to play with this, but it's not like this now, so it's a good challenge for me. As you can imagine, in places like these, saying that you've come because of Suzanne Langlin will open all of the doors for you. No, it's closed. Well, not all. It was so exciting to meet her. She's uh, so kind, so friendly and spontaneous, and uh, that's uh, a good point. In order to make the exact piece, Rasha has to take extra care of every step. Although a pleated skirt looks simple and elegant, it takes a lot of work. I'm gonna put some marks and I'm gonna measure every plissé to be identical. So it's a very long process if you want to do it like uh, in the 20s. Today we worked on the top and the cardigan. We pin it on the dummy, then we have uh, iron it, and so I can put it on the real fabric and cut it. In fact, what is left now is the sewing part. Can you do it again? Oh my god. <laughs> The day is here. Rasha is applying the finishing touches to Tessa's outfit. Here 
Paris to Zan Langland, so be careful. <laughs> Je vais coordonner l'entraînement. Il va y avoir euh, Tessa qui va représenter Suzanne Lenglen avec euh, une tenue d'époque. On va faire un petit panier de service. Okay. Seems like she's serving good. All right, the first approach seems right, but when the cameras go off, Tessa shows some discomfort. The wind and the shape of the outfit are starting to play their own game. Suzanne Langland, in the past, they were like serving and volley a lot. So I'm gonna try with Tessa to see uh, how it works with this outfit, because now the players are more playing at the baseline. Bah alors c'était compliqué de servir parce que la, la jupe me gêne quand je serre et surtout quand je saute, bah c'est plus lourd donc forcément c'est plus gênant pour moi. I expected her to be uh, faster, and she was like, you know, she didn't feel comfortable, but with the shoes mainly. Okay, <laughs> the serve and volley looked pretty good, but Tessa is starting to feel the main differences between past and present. It was a super journey. I was happy to have been chosen to do this shooting with Tessa. Marine, come on, court. Et ça va être intéressant de voir par rapport à Marine, qui est la détenue très près du corps, euh, s'il y a une incidence en fait sur euh, l'évolution justement euh, du tennis. Now watch out. On the other side, we have Marine as the present, and Tessa on the other as the past. So, game on, girls. Bah, les mouvements euh, sont plus euh, compliqués. On est moins à l'aise en fait. Well, we didn't see this coming, but the girls take the experiment with the energy of a real game. She's getting used to it. Justement, je voulais voir euh, sur des, des, des courses et euh, notamment sur terre battue. Aujourd'hui, euh, les chaussures sur terre battue sont adaptées. C'est-à-dire que vous tenez bien la chaussure, la semelle, vous laisse la possibilité de glisser. Et là, on voyait qu'elle était, euh, elle bloquait à chaque fois, donc elle se sentait pas très à l'aise. Assez surprise comme Tessa de voir euh, elle pouvait bien jouer avec ces vêtements-là d'époque et de faire un contraste avec euh, l'époque et aujourd'hui. C'était vraiment euh, une super expérience. Tessa, do you think you could win in a real game in this outfit? C'est possible, mais c'est des petits détails que on est moins performant par rapport aux tenues d'aujourd'hui. Donc si je joue euh, une fille de mon niveau avec une tenue euh, d'aujourd'hui, ben forcément, je vais être, ça va être plus compliqué pour moi de jouer que ma ben, quelle quoi. The outfit design, mobility, and weight are killer combo. Yes. The one thing left is the weight. Yes. This time we have 345 grams of difference. Je suis très contente aujourd'hui d'avoir porté la tenue de Suzanne Langen et je remercie encore Rachel, la styliste, de me l'avoir fait en trois jours. It was uh, awesome, exciting to see past and present on the Suzanne Langen court, and I think I succeeded to my challenge. How do you see that? Yes, you did. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Being the most popular individual sport in the world, tennis has been associated with fashion over the years. With each new superstar, the sport makes quantum leaps, constantly taking the fashion industry one step ahead. Talent, yes, but a lot of creativity, style, and a touch of rebellion. Nowadays, fashion and performance run parallel. Style and what is permitted depend on the size of the hero and the quality of the game.